Jordan of the Chicago Bulls put on a memorable individual display in the opening game of the series. Virtually every move Jordan made proved successful. No matter who the Celtics tried, Jordan had the answer. A supreme effort that translated into 49 brilliant points. But when it ended, Michael Jordan and the Bulls came up short. Thank you, Dick. Michael just got a nice round of applause here. The question is, can one man beat the Lakers, or do you need a more diversified attack today? Well, we're playing the Boston Celtics, Pat, but uh, I think it's going to be more of a five-man game, and uh, we really have to play a complete basketball game. I, I don't think one man can beat the Boston Celtics. It's hard to imagine that six weeks ago you were sitting on the bench. Yes, it, it is. It's very hard for me to imagine. I'm very happy I'm, I'm playing now, and I'm very happy that I can contribute to the team. All right, thank you. Good luck today. You don't have to remind me again that you are playing the Boston Celtics. Play here, the Celtics in white, the Bulls in red, and Boston controls. Oakley and Sidney Green, two real quick board bangers. Green by starts in off the bench. Parrish blocks, and they're going to call goaltending against Robert Parrish and credit Michael Jordan. So it looks already as if the Celtics are going to give a lot of help to Michael Jordan. One of the things I was looking for early, Dick, is the tempo of the game by the Bulls to try and get some fast break opportunities. Jordan found his way in once again and has his second basket. All four points in the early going. If they get by, if Michael Jordan gets by Dennis Johnson, the other Celtics are going to clog up the lane, it looks like. What should Jordan do in that case? Look, either put it off the glass and hope that one of his freer players can get an offensive rebound. Chicago had a 12-point lead in the first half of the game against the Celtics Thursday. Jordan trying to fake Bird, can't do it. Hits the jumper, but Bird played pretty well defensively against Jordan there. You gotta hang on Jordan's shooting hand. Michael Jordan has eight points and is the game high score. Going baseline. Michael Jordan, the basket good and a foul. Fantastic quickness going to the baseline. They sure got it and sent him to the to his left. Watch him come to his left. Dennis Johnson saying, you can have the baseline. They're hoping that Parrish will be able to get in there and at least intimidate him. At 33 years of age, from the LA Clippers, for Cedric Maxwell, who are playing again without Moses Malone. We'll keep you posted on that game. Jordan goes up, ball slapped away, but Jordan winds up with it and draws the foul. Playing Michael Jordan one-on-one -on -one is for a guy like Dennis Johnson, who's a great defensive player, it's very difficult because Jordan's got the speed advantage, the quick step, and he can go right, left, or over you. And Dennis Johnson that time tried to force him to his left, left just a little bit too much room for him to get to the hoop. Walton committed the foul, his first, and here's Michael Jordan, rookie of the year last year, and led his team in virtually every category, including rebound. Woolridge against McHale, gets a piece of it. Walton quickly back to McHale. Jordan picks up McHale and takes the ball away from him. That was a pickpocket move if there ever was one. And Jordan goes up, and the blocking foul against the Celtics, and the crowd won't agree. Well, McHale has no business putting it on the floor against a quick player like Michael Jordan. A big guy dribbling, it's too high, easy for a smaller man to pick it off. 57% shooter from the field. Jerry Seasting, formerly of the Indiana Pacers. Former Spurs on the Chicago Bulls. Gene Banks has really got his hands full, but he's got the intelligence. And they didn't really have defined roles when the Celtics had their problems around Christmas. They sure didn't. That was the Christmas massacre, but the Jordan. troops are back. Jordan from the corner. And McHale is guarding Woolridge, who's been nice goal. Jordan against Dennis Johnson. Jordan. No, oh, Chicago. Oh, Jordan. 25 to 43. 19 to Michael Jordan. That's his first point in this second period. 315 to go. Jordan inside the wall. Oh. Basket good and a foul. And that looked like a Celtic play. Sidney Green is up on high. Setting a screen. Johnson trying to fight through it on a switch. Bird guards Jordan, and Jordan hits the jumper anyway. Michael Jordan, 21 points. Six on the shot clock, so there's a three-second differential. Jordan with a fake shot and draws the foul. Dennis Johnson beside himself. And bring your hand down, and that's when an official will normally call the foul. Mike Tebow, who is one of the assistant coaches with Chicago, Said about Jordan, he's got the, the jump shot ability of a Jerry West and the ability to go to the hoop of a Julius Irving. Pretty good people to be compared with. I call him Mercury. 
Banks working against Bird on the post up. McHale tried a double team and Woolridge misses again. Here's Michael Jordan. Basket will be good and a foul and 25 for Michael Jordan in the game. He's got three fouls. Maybe they're trying to save him, but. Chicago with it to Jordan with nine and a half. And long range. Jordan hits. Jordan is eight for eight from the line. Going for his 30th point of the game here. This is the time of the ball game that you go to Michael Jordan, I think. He's strong. They didn't overuse him in the first half. Taking the tempo away from the Celtics, trying to Michael Jordan right now. Ten points in this period for Ames. And what a great shot. And a basket and a foul. And here comes Jordan, but Ainge is in front of him, angles him off, turns him loose to the second defender of the Celtics, but Jordan overpowers him. And Walton has committed his fifth personal foul. Fourth block this game. Jordan against Ainge. Jumper good with 16 seconds to go, 91-85. Bulls with it, trailing by one. Minute and a half gone by in the fourth period. And a foul. Michael Jordan is fouled by Dennis Johnson in support of Michael Jordan's 36. Now 37 for Jordan. Well, you cannot stop him because he handles the ball so much. And he, he they, so much, a percentage of, of the offense is designed for him to just get the ball and score. Boston by one. Chicago has led virtually all the way. Jordan backs it in. And Jordan with 40 points. He had 49 in game one. Game of ISOs right now. Isolation. They double team now. Walton has come out to meet Jordan. Jordan trying to use his quickness, and it works. Michael Jordan with 44 now in the ball game. Walton trying to double now, picking up Jordan. Jordan isolated one on one. They come around. Basket, no. No basket. The foul before. And Bill Walton is fouled out of the ball game, I believe. A little pick and roll action forces Walton to end up with Michael Jordan. And he alertly knows that Walton's in foul trouble and has a good opportunity to take it to the hoop. Now Walton's kind of bumped him before the shot, who's had a hot hand here. Jordan cuts the Celtic lead to two, and he has 46 points. Looks like lately the Bulls have been going to Jordan like they did at the start of the last game. Here he is, the move and the basket. And it's a one-point game to stay at all back, urges his team on. 108, 107, that much time to go in the fourth. Celtics have fought back. Jordan, short jumper, and it drops, and 50 points for Michael Jordan. Well, you've got to have a good rotating weak side of your defense. That's Michael Jordan. And he gets over there beautifully to start, and that was a morale builder. And he comes up the other end. And Kevin McHale playing poor defense, shows him the baseline with no help and with that leaping ability. The 76ers are one and one now with their victory over Washington. Michael Jordan has been a sensational show again. 52 points for Michael Jordan. And Chicago leads, becoming only the second team to beat the Celtics in the Garden this year. Harris, McHale, offensive rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Celtics wanted goaltending. Jordan knocked it out of bounds. No call from the officials. That's the change the Celtics made. Michael Jordan working against Dennis Johnson. Clock running down. Three seconds. Three-point shot. No good. And a foul. Late sweep. A foul against Kevin McHale has been called by Middleton. With no time showing on the clock. Players do fake the foul. He can tie it up here and send the game in overtime. No time remaining. Time in game two of our best of five first round NBA playoff. Jordan's 54 points ties John Havlicek for the fourth best individual's single game effort in playoff history. Long range, Jordan hits it. 56 for Jordan. And that ties the Chicago Bulls all-time leader, Bob Love, who had 56 in a game. And the Bulls lead by two. And they're this close. Three on the shot clock. Jordan, basket, good, and a foul. And a big basket for the Chicago Bulls. And Jordan could give them a four-point lead. 
fouled out of the ball game, and Jerry Seasting has come in. He fouls out with 15 points. 59. <laughs> he should have been tired an hour and a half ago. Ainge guarding Michael Jordan. Jordan goes up with a shot and hits it and has 61 points to tie Elgin Baylor's all-time single-game playoff record that he established against these Celtics. Jordan with eight on the clock. Jordan ties the game. Oh, boy. 63 points, and you're looking at an all-time record. Oh, boy. Michael boy. Jordan and a hard-fought victory for the Boston Celtics to take a 2 to nothing lead over Chicago in their best of five. Our Miller Lite most valuable player of the game is Michael Jordan with an all-time record 63 points in a single playoff game.